many achievements as well. They made, they created a calendar. Um, that was 365 days. Um, they made a writing system that was called hieroglyphs made out of symbols and signs. And they also made a ball game um, with a large rubber ball that they handmade. And they would play, um, all men would play to get the ball through a hoop using only their body, no arms or legs. This game is still played today. And we played it in PE. Where do the Aztecs live? The Aztecs live in the middle of Mexico Valley, in the middle of Lake Texco. They live along the M the Gulf of Mexico to the Pacific Ocean and as far south as Guatemala. What were some of their characteristics? They were extremely warlike and also very religious. They were so religious actually that they sacrificed humans often. What were some of their achievements? The Aztecs discovered chocolate but also created floating gardens which were also called chinampas. Um, trade, barter, and currency. Although you would think they would, Gold was not one of their main trading and barter or currency items. They actually used gold in art and architecture. Instead, they used cocoa beans, which were like coins to them. And like you could put values. One of their main values was cocoa beans, like I just said. They valued cocoa beans very highly, as well as chocolate. Um, they also valued their gods and sacrificed humans often, like I said before. Um, how did their civilization end? Um, the civilization ended when the Spanish conquistador Hernan Cortes led many attacks against the Aztec capital, and eventually in 1521, the Aztec capital fell and the whole city was destroyed. This is my 3D model slash map. This is a causeway, um, which is a says they lived on swampy islands and swampy areas they had to create solid land so they created a causeway which was the main dirt path going down the middle of the swamp so they could walk across it to get from island to island like a bridge similarities and differences between the mayas and the aztecs one similarity that they both shared was that they both used um the written language called hieroglyphs which um are signs and symbols they, you, they both had calendars that were associated with the sun. They were both 365 days as well. Another thing that they both shared were that they both had temples and pyramids. Also, they um, both traded chocolate and salt um, for other items. Um, and those were both high values. Um, the Aztecs valued chocolate more than the Mayas, though. Now, differences. Okay. So one of the main differences between the Mayas and the Aztecs was the methods of farming. The Mayans used slash and burn agriculture when the Aztecs used, um, used chinampas, which are also known as floating gardens. Another difference was the way that they worshipped their gods. The Mayans only gave blood when the Aztecs sacrificed humans. The mound builders. The mound builders were given the name... Um, the mound builders because they built large mounds in a region between the Canada, Miss South Canada, Tennessee, Mississippi River, and Atlantic Ocean. This is the serpent. Um, this one looks like a serpent. This is a mound that they built. Um, and then there are other mounds around the area. The mounds were for graves holding treasures and um, and that's about it. Um, the currency was turquoise stone, which was all, which they also made money from, and they also so they could use that and like keep it in little like the stone shape they found it in, or they could carve little pieces out of it. Um, their needs were for food that hunters gathered, and um, that hunters and gatherers found for them, and some food that they used was um, rabbits, squirrels. Larger game was um, wild was like wild bison and um, different types of deer. Some other things that they ate were wild rice and fish. They had also dried many of those things for winter. Um, some of their wants were the turquoise stone, which they made money from, and yeah, that's about it. Hi, I'm doing the Anasazi Pueblo people. They lived in the four corners of the United States. Colorado, Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico. Some characteristics
characteristics were their artisans and their architects. They built pueblos in the side of cliffs. Here's what they are. They are tall apartment buildings where people lived. These are places where they worship their gods. They would, historians never knew where they ended, how they ended. They were never conquered by the Spanish conquistador. They, um, some historians think that they moved down river and abandoned their homes. What did they trade? They traded woven baskets and pottery because they're artisans. The Incas. Some facts about their empire was that the territory was huge. It was along the Andes Mountains and from what is now Ecuador to Argentina. Relay runners were used to carry messages from the capital city at Cusco. Some facts about the government are the emperor was the only person who was able to own land and he divided it evenly among the people um, in return of taxes. The emperor was believed to be a descendant from the sun god. All people were expected to pay taxes to the empire in return of being taken care of. Record keeping, knotted strings called quipus were used for, rec for keeping track of births, deaths, taxes, and harvest. They used quipus because they did not have a writing language, a written language. Communication via travel. To control such a huge empire, the emperor needed to have the travel happen between the roads. They built roads by and bridges for this purpose, usually with a valley underneath with lots of running water. They also helped the military in times of trouble. Incan achievements. The structure and the quality of the stone walls the Incans built in Machu Picchu lasted so long because of the stones fitting in the perfect spots. So when there was an earthquake, they would all shake for a little bit and then fall back down into the spots where they were supposed to be. Um, some more facts about Machu Picchu is that it was a high city in the Andes Mountains, um, built in between two of the peaks of the mountains. Um, they carried, they carved stairs into the rock to connect the buildings, and the Spanish did not ever find this place. Land to farm. The steep mountains the Incas lived in were great for farming. Um, and like I said before, they built aqueducts, canals, and terraces for irrigation. Thank you. Well, I don't know if that was facing the right way. It's okay. This is a terrace. This is one of their many achievements. It has many different levels, like that. And this was used to grow crops. And um, they also had many um, levels. And because of the many levels, they needed um, another irrigation system. So what they created was aqueducts, canals, um, and many other things for irrigation purposes to get the water all along the crops. Also, because the mountain was really steep, they had to have a flat surface to farm. Yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs>